Yeah, here we go. Okay. Hello, friends. Um, don't mind me. We're not starting quite yet. Um, we're gonna, we're just gonna. Just one, two, three, four. That? My guess is it was somebody moving a chair upstairs, or uh, slid uh, something slid down against the wall, um, next door. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Hi friends, welcome back to Coffee Talk. Come on. Uh, it's been a little bit since we played Coffee Talk. We were going to play it during our um, Spooktober streams, but uh, we got a little too invested in to Don't Starve. And uh, we we succeeded in not starving, but uh, unfortunately we we failed in the uh, in the coffee making business. So uh, we're back. With some more. Um, before we really get started here, uh, we're going to grab a drink and then we're going to settle in. And I don't know how long we're going to be streaming uh, Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk is one of those games that's just kind of like a chill and a good vibe, but I am not typically playing Coffee Talk for hours on end. Um, most of our Coffee Talk streams have been an hour long a piece, so uh, we'll stream Coffee Talk for about an hour. And then we might change games here to our Cult of the Lamb. Uh, we'll see. Or or we might uh, do something real different and we might play some Minecraft. Uh, I guess not super different. I, we just haven't played Minecraft in a couple months. So um, we'll see. But I'll be right back. We're going to go and grab a drink. Just enjoy the vibe that Coffee Talk brings. Feel that smooth rhythm. I'm going to say that this is this this is smooth jazz. This is smooth jazz to me. It might not actually be jazz because it's definitely missing those uh um Babe, what's your you were in band. What's the thing? Trumpet, saxophone, what kind of instruments are those? Well those are brass, but the I was brass. not a band. No? No, you were in choir, that's right. Yes. Yes. Who was it in my friends that were in band? Don't know. I don't remember either. Either way. But it wasn't me. Uh, the brass. This, we're missing the brass a little bit. But I don't know if you need brass for jazz. It's pretty integral. But, I mean, you can have some without if you get the right mix. Pretty so, characteristic, though. Right, it's very characteristic of jazz. So, like, I don't know. But it's you, probably more about the counts than it is the instruments. Yeah, that's what I think. We'll be right back. So enjoy the dulcet tones of our uh, coffee talk brewery stick game.
it looks like uh, I may have accidentally started the game already. Uh, oh well. Uh, hey, Poporo, how's the night so far? It's calm, as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made a logistical error. I don't have half my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. It's good to hear. Anyway, let's let me set up a few things first. Our first customer, after all. Don't worry, take your time. So, my plan is not to talk through all of the dialogue again. Because I feel like a lot of the dialogue is going to be very similar. Um, in a lot of different ways. So, we're going to click through... And respond and react to what they say. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh! Oh, do we not have to make the copy this time? Triple shot espresso! We know how to do that. Boop, boop, boop. Brew it. Fucking delish. Mmm. Into the tray. <laughs> ah, my, my apologies. I, I clearly misclicked. My apologies, Fran. This was, this was what you were hoping for. Into the tray. <laughs> oh, man. I just... Such butterfingers, you know. I'm so sorry. I'll I'll be I'll I've got a whole fresh thing. For, there you go. My really my bad. One cup of triple shot espresso, special for my only customer tonight. You know, I'm sure that's true. Yeah. No, wow, wait, wait, hold up. We definitely, she definitely didn't say anything about a meeting in the elevator um, up until this point. Okay, there was nothing like that said. Wait, I didn't tell you that. How did you know? Well, I was just guessing. No way you could guess that be that specific. You'd be very suspicious. Maybe you have another news source. I have no comment. Yep. I haven't told anyone about this. Wait. Someone who saw me enter the elevator? Theorize all you want. I won't comment on anything. Okay, okay. I understand the importance of keeping sources confidential. So I'll pretend you never said anything. Thank you. So yeah. Where were we? You're planning to do something? Yes, that. It's now that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's a newspaper, though, because, like, don't get me wrong, writing in any regard can be very troublesome, 100%, but, hey, baby, yeah, were you hoping to lay with dad again? That's your hope? Ah, you but dad clearly wasn't prepared for you. Why would you have tried? You dork. Uh she's so cute, but she's so stupid. <laughs> she tried to jump onto a non-existent lap, fell through, it was like... <laughs> Hold on, baby devil. You must not tell You're the one that fell through. That's your own stupidity. Don't look at me like it's my fault. It's time for beer. Sounds so simple when I made the plan. This thing's... <laughs>
Yeah. Opportunity. Oh, okay, so this so we put it right before that. Okay, interesting. <laughs> How'd they react? Interesting, interesting. See, I I really like the idea of publishing short stories first. Um, because they're easier to get past and get published, but the problem is that you can't just publish a short story, right? Like, big publishing companies can't just be like, here's a short story and here's a short story. Uh, the same way, like, a newspaper could put, it, like, several articles and be like, here's an issue, here's an issue, right? Um, so, like, her short story is part of a collection. So, like, she's still not well known. It's actually really lucky that she got recognized by those. <laughs> I feel that. Don't worry, Freya. You can do something. I, I, I wrote over five thousand words in a day. Okay. You have a month. You can do. If we're doing NaNoWriMo, it's November, guys. It's NaNoWriMo. This is the perfect time for Freya. Okay, she's got to write a novel in a month. All right, that's the whole point of National Novel Writing Month. Okay, to write your novels, to write down. You've got this, Freya. We believe in you. We're going to be right there with you. <laughs> I feel that though. If I've read my past work, I really want to delete it. I'm like, oh, this is shit. Get rid of it. Which, it's like one of the cardinal sins of NaNoWriMo is, like, reading or, to, like, backing up and reading past stuff and looking and uh, deleting your work. Uh, you have to just get it on the page and December is supposed to be used for editing. So, like, yeah, Freya, come on. If you can pull it off. Okay, but uh, we still don't know what those short stories are. Like, they could be some great works. They could be just, like, they could be inspired from here. They could absolutely not be. Hello. Welcome to my place. Ah, hot chocolate. I, hold on. Can I just make chocolate? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> Wait. I can't remember if I did this last time. It's just chocolate. It's just straight chocolate. <laughs> Oh, one cup of chocolatey goodness. Uh, you went from empty to three customers. I mean... Okay, as we've, we've said this before, uh, but as, as a student, as somebody that likes to get work done, like, after 6 p.m., okay, having a coffee shop that's still open all the way to 1 in the morning isn't a bad strategy. The problem is if you're only serving coffee. Okay, like, if it's just there's nothing else but coffee, you start running into some issues. Um... It's definitely a good idea to have, uh, like, a place for people to come 
um, and hang out and get stuff done. But, um, yeah, a coffee shop of just coffee might be the problem. Especially if the only thing you've got is this bar front. I mean, Frey has definitely talked about how there's other tables, so, like, maybe all we see is the bar front, but this, this doesn't really give me the I'm going to stay and get work done. How can you survive running the coffee shop? Rich baby! Ching ch ching! Ah. I mean, okay, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of fiction writers out there, so being like, I'm a fan of fiction is still very vague, uh, because there's a lot of different types of fiction, um, and some people like types of fiction that they don't like others, um, a great, a great instance is, um, high fantasy versus modern settings okay like there are people that just hate high fantasy fiction uh sci-fi some people just hate sci-fi uh and then you know there's the very realistic romance fictions um that some people really enjoy you know like fiction fiction's a broad category fantasy's a broad category um so like Eh. Eh. Sorry. Bailey. Bailey. Bailey, you're gonna be in pain, bro. Bailey, I'm trying to get you out of this suit. Just, just tell her. Tell her straight right now. Uh, bitter with milk and some left hair. Well, let's see if I remember how to do this. Nah, reset that. Hold on. It was... No, hold on. I, I was thinking about this the other day. Hey! Out of all of the times that we've done this, that looks pretty good. That looks... I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna serve it. Rude. Rude Baileys. I, I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, she's just having a chat, Bailey's. I know, I can read, I can read your name, but I, that, that's Lua, you know, and that's Freya, and you're Bailey's. Bales. No, I know, <laughs> guys, guys, I appreciate the in-game, I know. <laughs> and I'm Popo Poro. You already knew that if you read my tag. 
I'm self-aware. Kind of work. Freelance design and illustration. Characters. <laughs> He's currently dealing with our worst client. There's always another layer of hell. Is, hold on, is that like a statement that the news isn't doing great? Like, it's just hell there? She's just not in the layer that is pure hell? Look, Freya, if I wanted to use my fists, okay, I would be pounding some dough. Okay. We are our teeth. Completely by our latte art. Okay. Obviously, the best in the business. That's my spot. <laughs> Oh, I still think this is a pretty game. Move to other seats. How is your day? Finish the proposal. Boss is in a good mood. Well, he is. Today he was happy. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm glad that I'm just listening again on your, <laughs> on your conversations. This is, a, this is a little creepy now that I'm looking at it after. Um... Because they're definitely just trying to have a private conversation, <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> stand- I'm not even cleaning anything with my hands, or I'm just kind of standing watching them. Make a meme about her. It's work. Aw, oh, dang. Da da da. <gasps> they kicked you out! You don't have to do this. They're family. Can't stand it. Da, da, da. About how you are, love me. No one other elves would want to be in. It's already tainted. Yeah, that's exactly what they said. How'd you fucking know? <laughs> this is it. Now. Oh, who? Okay. This, I stood by this at the very beginning. Okay. Like, Blue's like, our families will never agree! Are you- did you think they would have before you started dating? Like, come on. <laughs> like, you already knew the negative connotations. But you already knew what your family was gonna say before you started dating, because they probably said it for a long time. What was that? Hold on. Here I hear Rosie trying to bite on an empty Oreo container. I love them, but they're such butt. Such butt beef. 
Okay. I mean, let's let's be fair here. Like, <laughs> I I still don't see why it, it mattered in the first place. Immortality. Also, okay. Weird side question. All right. So, so his, so this lore has it that so his immortality is connected to his family directly, and that like no longer being part of the family covers your mortality. Okay, sure. But what happens if his parents die then? Like he's no longer immortal because his parents. No, because obviously his parents are. Still immortal even if their parents are dead. Like, it can't be directly connected to, if, to like, living, right? So they have to go through a whole ritual to sever him, alright? Or something along those lines. It can't just be a, I've denounced my connection to my family and now that severed me. Because, like, that would suggest to me that for some reason, just societal connections okay very very like base connections are what are keeping him immortal like if they then consider him a son again does, or is it he re-immortal like that doesn't seem logical because she even says like you'll never be immortal again right so like it's more than that right so like if that's the case it, it's a blood like is it as they're alive and they're connected to him by bloodline, but then like his blood would be what's creating him as immortal. It's a weird concept. I, I do like that like their immortality is beyond just the individual person, but like the family itself is part of his immortality. Like I think that's an interesting concept. Um, it just brings in some logistical problems, I feel. Happy... well, who cares then? We're happy! <laughs> I mean... Uh, and she's got... I don't want to think about it! Uh, coffee shop. Hope you have the happy ending. Do you have anything else called? No. <laughs> anything warm? Green tea lattes? Ah ha ha ha! Milk, milk! Alright, let's go! <laughs> Latte art, obviously. Come on. Who do you take me for? Now, hold on. I gotta do this better. Flower. Look at that. See, we're already doing better. 10 out of 10. Serve that bad boy. How are you married? No. If someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. I don't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the world, why did I fall for her? You don't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try. At least that's what my old man said. Really is one pretentious elf. I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you... I guess... Okay, so so if they're all immortal, then, you know, the parents aren't dead, yada yada. Okay. In terms of immortality, that does... I, I don't know if it's immortal in terms of time, or immortal as in, if I shot them, they'd still live. So I, that's a little... Meh. Um, but, so, yeah, it's still logistics. 
eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. And probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's a while until the sunrise. More time to drink. See ya. See you too, Miss Spray. Do visit again. Or don't. <laughs> My shop should be empty always. <laughs> if they find a better way to live. And be together forever. I have to get up. Blah, blah, goodbye. Chemical shop. Because our coffee got fucked up. How dare he forget the essential things. Twice. In two different worlds. Hey, it's Freak. Hi, bud. How's it going? Uh, sound alerts don't seem to be working properly, so I didn't, uh, I didn't hear you. Or maybe you popped in when, uh, when I ran towards... Uh, Rosie, who was trying to eat uh, our Oreo container. Okay, yeah, sound alerts are broken again. That's okay, I'll fix them again here in the near future. I have off this week. Good evening, na 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 na. What's wrong with you? Did you just enter like normal? So excited to share this. What are you talking about? I know what to write. It's, it's about the people. In my shop, doing things and having lives, I know. Ah, oh, what a bitch! <laughs> I'm not asking permission. Haha, <laughs> mm. <laughs> you got banned, fool! You're not allowed here. Uh, nice. Uh, how was your trip? How was, uh, how was the drive? How'd that go? I wonder what kind of stories I'll have. Georgie! 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 It's the formality is stiff as ever. The usual. <gasps> More than yesterday. Sip the tea, I'm out of tea. Cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Ah, oh, that's easy. Coffee, coffee, honey. Brew it. A uh, long drive from start to finish, not including driving into town. I was on the road for... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I put that... Um, not, uh, not a fun time. Um, we've driven... We've driven to Florida before. Um, and now it's a 24-hour drive. Um... Not including any stops or anything like that. Or, uh, the detours for, through town. Um. But yeah, no. Fun! Uh, always good to go on road trips. I really enjoy road tripping. Uh, wish we had more people that we could do road trips with. Um, and more time. Life sucks. And, uh, kind of takes away any time you have to do road trips. <laughs> Go up from Georgie. <laughs> All right, I got you. That's fair. That's fair. Um, ah, uh, here you go, Freya. And it's for ah, oh, dang. I get butterfingers. I I just I don't know what it is. You know, here I'll make you a fresh one. It's a, it's really, it's going to taste just, oh man, you know, so sorry, and really my bad, really, truly, I, it just, I apologize deeply, here you go. Do I still have access to all of the, I do. Okay, we still have two undiscovered here, one here, one here. Okay, so we still have some we could discover yet. Yeah, we probably will never end up flying. Um, Alex hates flying. So we'll probably never end up uh, 
taken a plane in our lives. Which is fine by me, because, like, I don't really need to fly most places. Um, but you want to go to Europe. Yeah, but you, we've already talked about it for doing that. We might as well take, like, a cruise thing over there. So, like, I'm still not flying now, am I? <laughs> the cruises are 12 days. What's your point? Starless night sky for the green-haired fairy. Not sure whether that's a compliment or not. Perfect. Dun dun dun. She made a risky deal, Georgie. Tell her. Tell her how stupid she is, Georgie. Dun dun dun. No, Georgie, you're supposed to tell her how stupid she is. And be like, oh dang, good luck. <laughs> Georgie, you're responsible. You're the police officer. I'm not the responsible one. Come on. You should feel bad. <laughs> you should be offended. Well, what will it be about the coffee shop against my will? <laughs> Please don't write about any shady looking police officers who love picking breaks more than the show at inside a coffee shop near the post. Definitely write about that police officer. Good comic. Is that a compliment? Um, did your did your mom give you um the car, uh, freak? Did you, did you get the car that you were hoping to get, or uh, you still got the van? That's my other question. You you chilling with the van or a car now? Is it? I don't think so. What do you have against me? Poor Poporo is probably worried you're losing about losing customers. Come on, it's not like it's a real day. It's drama. It will dramatize it. It's worse. Be inspired. Some station. A lot of stories. No. Nope. No, no, no. Can't help you. Uh, I've helped you plenty of times. Now it's my turn to stay. You asked for information on the busker. The one who's always plays his guitar. Uber's got a rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, poor guy. Think about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is, I don't know, hard. It could quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used the story or the paper. Got his blessing before giving it to the editors. At least he's become more popular since the article was published. Yeah, the rumors have become kind of a prop for him. Anyway, back to the topic. Tips? Okay, heard about this one girl. <laughs> Lately, coming to a coffee shop in the area. She's weird, don't know what her deal is. Bright green hair. Well, right. The van the van is yours. Obviously, I was just wondering if, uh... Ah, uh, okay. Alright, so is is your mom getting the avalanche fixed then? Is uh is she getting it fixed and then handing it off to you then? I was so excited to hear about something real. That went deep fast. Cheer up! Ugh. Sorry, mood swings. Man, it sucks that uh you got some coffee out with you then, huh? Better, uh, better not drink more of that espresso. It's really gonna fuck up your mood. <laughs> Different races, species, cultures. I heard their story. I kind of felt their pain. Yeah. The very common trope, though. Dark lovers. Well, so, like, meh.
sense of you. I hope they don't get pissed about their own order. Yeah, that happens. Anyway, look at the time. Wait, are you telling me that, like, she has three cars? She has the Encore, the Charger, and the Avalanche? Is that what you're fucking telling me? <laughs> I make this a habit. And then she owns a Jeep. Why not try to ask to keep the Charger then? Or did she just really love the Charger? I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. I'll move to my corner. Good luck. Don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Take some water. Hydrate. No. Number one rule. Drink some water. No. Drink some water. That's not water. That's not water. First ingredient, carbonated water. Carbonated. Water. That's fake water. Fake news. You're fake. Mmm, that should do for the experiment. Ah, someone's coming. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Poporo, can we sit? Sure. Hello, vampire. I don't have any blood, unfortunately, but I will tell you that we can find some very quickly. There's this girl over in the corner. She's writing, all right? She's writing things against my will. So if you need some, she owes me. Anything with coffee and ginger? Hold on, do I actually know what, uh, I think I do know what his was. Uh, this. Where was this? I think it's this. I think it's the Jai Kubrick. I think. Uh. Uh, it's just if I wanted the other lunch because I want a truck like vehicle, and that's what she said. Yeah, she plans to not keep the charger that I have because her husband, she shouldn't be that married, is buying her a brand new one, so she will probably sell it. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, how, ask, ask how much she's selling the charger for if she's going to sell it because, like, I would love a Dodge Charger. Like, love a Dodge Charger. There are four vehicles on my list of vehicles I've always wanted. A 1990s series Ford F-150, which I bought and have had until it was illegally towed. A Dodge Charger, uh, specifically a 69 Dodge Charger, uh, mainly because of how the front uh, lights in the the grill and the rear lights look, uh, was great. Uh, definitely not the charger that she probably has, but I also really love chargers. So like, uh, then I want a Ford Mustang, specifically Mustangs from the eighties and nineties, because they had such a better look and maybe a modern Mustang, the in-betweens towards the, um, late 90s, early 2000s, and a little bit of 2010s were shitty looking Mustangs. Okay, I hate them. Um, and then there is a Corvette. I would love to have a convertible Corvette. Um, all of those are, uh, are types that I would love to have owned or had at some point in my life. So if there is a chance that I could own a Charger from, like, 2007, I'd take it. 
Because I bet you that charger runs better than your van does. 100%. Um, but yeah, cool. Yeah, ask her. Ask her how much she's going to sell it for. Um, I need to see... Oh, it was a T. Yeah, okay. T. Nope. Oh, it, he wants coffee and ginger, though. Okay, well. I'm gonna do something with coffee and ginger. Uh, let's see. Spice, ginger latte, espresso, cappuccino. Okay, well. Let's go coffee, coffee, ginger. Here you go, bud. It's delicious. Thank you. Is it good? Whatever he's having. Ah, oh, fantastic. Just the warmest, bitterest drink you can have. <laughs> yeah, things change. World changes. Uh, six years ago. Uh, LA? Eh, work. Yeah. <laughs> Not long after you got married. Oh shit, hold on. Has Hyde been married this whole time? I didn't know how it's been married this whole time. Shit, that kind of changes a few things. We're old by summer, it's standards not that old. Although, it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other for a long time. 20 years is a long time. When it was a bar, we moved it bankrupt. Yeah, shit happens. You're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile? Eh, yeah, just wondering. History repeat itself. No. <laughs> we'll be open forever. With the news about the newfound virus going viral, hospital crowds crazy. People just are afraid, paranoid. Same job. Admissions. Yes, I'm doing it. What a boy. Being a responsible adult. Doing adult things. Just order it from the blood marketplace. Blood last gets their supply from a hospital? They can't certify their own blood. My hospital skin. They're a middleman. I'm trying to be vegan. But I do know the founder. Yeah? How's that diet going? Not easy. I mean, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic. Ah, it'd be too complicated. Basically, scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on blood. Uh, the one thing, though, is you'll probably have to get an alignment check because I'm sure that it's off. Mom doesn't want to put money into it if she's going to set that's fair. That's fair. Hold on. Let me just, uh, let me just check a thing. Alignment check. Oh, that's not bad. That's like, uh, 
hundred bucks. <laughs> I mean, and to actually get it aligned, it only costs like two hundred. So like that's not that's not too bad. I'd still buy a charger to pay a few hundred bucks to get the alignment done. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some people wouldn't absolutely, but not a huge problem for me. Um, oh, why doesn't the fob work? That's surprising. I mean. A lot of times when fobs stop working, it's more of a battery issue than the fob. Um, so you m might just have a dead battery. Um, it is, I can afford it. But again, they're still working on it. I'm trying to make it more affordable. It says it tastes good, mixed with other ingredients. Unless they're selling blood-based drinks. Man, look, if it's synthetic. Look, if it's a synthetic blood, I don't think it should make other customers upset, you know? Um, if you don't like the sight of blood, like, I understand, you know, whatever. But, like, if, uh, if you don't know it's blood, can you really be set by the sight of blood? If you don't know it's blood? Uh, but I know some... Mixed with not so legal substances. No, a lot. I work in a hospital. Hey, talking to a vegan left cell reminded me about uh, something. Monthly Fury. I don't lost painful method. Not yet. But I do know it's a drink. I would drink a certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yeah, I'm exploring possibilities. But this drink wasn't it. Guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be a remedy. I don't want you use the Fury sensitive. I don't trust them. Besides, sedative is too general. Each of us has our own remedy. We need to find it. Sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? I know to calm me down. That's all I need. At least your calming method is a drink. Kinky stuff. Some people need to be kinky. Everybody needs to be kinkier. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> he got tricked. Wow, what, uh, which, uh, what do you know, Hyde? What's slightly caffeinated with uh, ginger tea? Tea would calm you down? Hmm, we don't have tea. Next time you're visiting, maybe we can brew it. I would you know that. Oh, is that why we don't have tea? Is so we couldn't have given him his thing right away? The battery holder isn't welded or lost, it's weld from the motherboard, so the battery can't sit on the power where it needs to uh, work. It just doesn't sit put in the place to fix it. We'll probably just make an entirely new one. Uh, I haven't looked at how much that would cost, but that's what I'm figuring out. It's a battery housing issue, not necessarily a battery. Uh, I mean, okay, fair. Um... Uh, okay, so it depends on the car fob, uh, and depends on the brand and whatnot. Uh, they can be as cheap as $20 and as expensive as $400 to replace a car fob. Um, with some really new, really advanced ones costing up to $850. These are more common for, like, Teslas and for, uh, sports vehicles. But, yeah depends um average seems to be about 150 150 to replace a car fob does the car fob needs to be um 
do you need the car fob to be able to use the car and start the car? Or is it just a lock and unlock car fob? Because some car fobs, you require the fob itself for starting the car. Some fobs are just used for locking and unlocking the vehicle, and that is it. Sorry, I have to go. Hospital emergency. Goodbye! Enjoy your day! Oh, it's great seeing you guys. I didn't see too much new dialogue with you guys. Are you done writing? It's two guys. It remind me of this video I saw online. Or if you didn't fantasize. Video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. Let's nice see your guy of friendship and get your mind out of the gutter, Popora. Oh, Popora, get your mind out of the gutter. Now that video, what? You know, yeah, never mind. You. Please don't joke. You're bad at it. It's a pretty intense night. Productive. Now it's time for sleep. Get some sleep. See you tomorrow. Bye, Freya. Don't die. There's vampires out there. you do die, make sure to donate your organs. It's a good thing that helps lots of people. And you're not going to use them in the ground anyway. Uh, just for unlocking and locking, but the fob is one of those that are literally connected to the key. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's going to be way cheaper. Um, fixing those fobs are way cheaper than fobs required for starting vehicles. Um, you're probably looking closer to like 20 to 100. Um, all things considered. Uh, what my family used to do, um, because some cars still use the key for unlocking the car too. Um, what we used to do when our fobs for those started dying is we'd just take some tape and we'd like wrap tape around it and so that's still like a full key and then we'd still be able to unlock and lock the car with the actual key. Um, but nowadays some cars don't have key locks anymore so uh, it's like codes or you need the fob. So um anyway that's gonna do it for coffee talk uh i hope you guys enjoyed uh we got two days out of our new game plus playthrough and as you guys know um we we typically only play an hour of coffee talk um because it's a nice mellow vibe nice fun time uh where we just kind of enjoy the story and enjoy some antics um so we're gonna keep with that uh, vibe and that feel. Um, so like, yeah, well, I'll be, uh, we'll continue next time with, uh, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five streams worth of new game plus stuff yet so uh, hey i heard that one that that one played so why didn't uh why didn't creeper play huh um so yeah uh we don't know if we'll be back uh to stream something yet i'm going to go use the bathroom um if we do continue streaming stuff tonight uh we'll be tweeting out that we're streaming um, but, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please click that follow button. Go check us out on all of our social media things so you know when we are going live, like Twitter. And, of course, stay safe, everybody. It is a crazy world out there. Bye! Bye! Bye, babe! Bye, honey! Bye! Go, go, die now! Bye! What? Bye!